Christian Community Ministries prides itself on running schools that foster individuality, compassion and respect. But it has an enrolment contract that asks families to support what they call Christian beliefs. This contract certainly does give students the impression that they could be expelled um, or discriminated against because of their sexuality or gender identity. Families are asked to support the college's beliefs that they live in accordance with their biological sex and a statement of faith demanding sexual behaviour to be limited to monogamous, heterosexual married couples. Students may face expulsion if they don't obey they would have a strong case in law to argue against any such actions because discrimination on the basis of sexuality and gender identity is unlawful. The Christian Community Ministries runs 12 schools across the country. Eight of those are in Queensland, two in South Australia, one in New South Wales and one school in Western Australia which is not subject to the contract. There is more to education than a concentration on the narrowness of sexual identity and interpersonal relationships. Concerning and disappointing and unacceptable. These contracts should have no place in a modern schooling welcoming system. It comes after a Brisbane school faced complaints under discrimination law for a similar contract introduced earlier this year. City Point Christian College withdrew their contracts after public backlash. I was shocked to see the extent um, and magnitude of the problem here in Queensland, to see that it was not just one, but numerous schools in Queensland. In a statement, the Christian Community Ministries denies it's breaching the Anti-Discrimination Act. The group says the contract is in the interest of open disclosure, providing parents with full information regarding its beliefs. Parents do not need to share our beliefs, but they do need to acknowledge that they understand what our schools stand for and teach. The Queensland Education Minister is encouraging any aggrieved families to take their case to the Human Rights Commission. Lillian Rengia, ABC News.